Helpful for life. It's the final countdown! Yeah! All right, dudes and dudettes, this is it. This is the final cleaning video. You did it. Congratulations. The sink and the disposal. For the sink, one important thing to know is to never pour fat or oil down the drain. It could clog up your pipes. The better thing to do is to pour that oil or fat into an old oil container, an old milk jug, an old coffee tin, really anything that can contain the liquid, and then close it up and throw it away in the trash. You can, however, save oils and fats for use at a later time. For example, if you are using a bunch of peanut oil to fry up some chicken, you can save that peanut oil, strain out any of the nasty bits, and save that oil for a later frying. Or let's say, for example, you just cooked up a pound of bacon and you got all that delicious grease. Well, you can drain that grease into a container and let it cool. Then on a later date, you can scoop out some of that bacon grease and fry up some new eggs. Enough about that though, back to the cleaning. We were talking about how oil and grease can clog up the drains. So speaking of the drains, that is a great place to start cleaning the sink. To do that, simply dump a bunch of baking soda down into the drain. If you have multiple sink basins with multiple drains, make sure you do both of them. Also, if you happen to have an overflow drain, make sure to clean it as well. It can lead to some sneaky smells where you, where did that come from? I don't know. Well, it's because people forget to clean their overflow drains. In case you're wondering what I mean by an overflow drain, you probably have one in your bathroom sink. Usually it's at the front of the basin right here. In North America, the kitchens don't typically have the overflow sinks, but if you do, make sure you clean it. So you got the baking soda down all of your drains. Don't rinse it out yet. Do the rest of your cleaning and then we'll rinse it out later. Baking sodas in the drains. The next step is to spray everything down with some cleaner. That means the basin, the faucet, the handles, your other drain stoppers, spray it all down. For that cleaner, it could simply be hot water and soap, or you could use a multi-purpose spray. Now, if your faucet or your handle happen to have some hard water stains on it, here's a little trick that can help you clean that up. Grab a paper towel and soak it in vinegar. Then simply wrap that around wherever the stain is and let it sit for a while. If you have these stains, you likely have hard water. And if you have hard water, you likely want to soak your faucet head as well. So what you'll do is you'll grab a Ziploc bag, probably a sandwich size or quart size. You'll fill up with some vinegar and then you'll put it over the faucet. Once you have it over the faucet, you'll want to either tie it off with a rubber band or a scrunchie, or you could tape it off, whatever it is. Just make sure that you have the bag secured up here and that the head is submerged in that vinegar. Then you'll leave that to soak for a couple of hours, do the rest of your cleaning, and then come back to it later. Back to the rest of the sink though. So you have everything sprayed down with that multi-purpose spray or your soap and water. If you want some extra scrubbing and some extra cleaning, now you can take that baking soda you love and just sprinkle it all over the sink. Baking soda or not, the next step is to grab a toothbrush and put a little soap on it or maybe a little bit of cleaner or maybe a little bit of both. Then you're going to want to scrub all of the nooks, crannies, and crevices all throughout the sink. So make sure you get around the basin, make sure you get in and around the drain, make sure you get around the handle and the faucet head, get it all. Then upgrade to your full size scrub brush and scrub down everything else. Lastly, you'll rinse everything thoroughly with hot water, making sure to get lots of hot water down each of the drains to wash away that baking soda. Finally, if you want your sink to be picture perfect, take a clean, dry microfiber cloth and dry away any moisture. And then lastly, give it a nice buffing to make that puppy really shine. Now, if you have a white sink, there are a few different steps you should do while you're cleaning. The first one is the cleaner that you use for the basin itself, you may want to consider getting a cleaner with some bleaching properties. Now, if you prefer a natural cleaner, you could simply use some hydrogen peroxide with a lemon and use that to clean away the baking soda instead of just water. And of course, you can always find more tips about how to care for your white sink online. One last caveat, if you have a fancy sink that is copper, bronze, brass, or some other material like that, do some searching and figure out the best way to care for it online. Okay, so obviously that is how you deep clean the sink. On a daily basis, the main thing you need to do is make sure to rinse any remaining food 
and liquids down the drain. Don't let them sit there or they could stain or smell or mold or whatever. And if that day you happen to feel particularly cleany or you see a tough spot in the sink, just grab your scrub brush, put some soap and scrub all over the basin or just that one spot and then rinse it all with hot water. Fortunately, daily cleaning with the sink is a pretty minimal job. 